here in Baltimore, a shooting outside a supermarket all over an argument about moving a car. WJZ is live in Waverly tonight. Paul Gessler with what witnesses say happened. Paul. Yeah, Nicole, they say that this man was parked out in front of this giant grocery store on 33rd Street waiting for family that was inside checking out. Police say there was some sort of dispute. We're told that was over him moving from out in front of the store. When he didn't move, they say that's when he was shot, and then he ran inside the store to get help just after 10 this morning. A silver Chevrolet attracts attention Thursday morning in Waverly. Fourth of July, you know, supposed to be everybody supposed to be happy and be with their family. The teenager inside. A gunshot victim after a dispute with another driver. Even though this is Baltimore, this ain't Mayberry. Just the today of all days, just to see this. This and this is real scary. Forensics and detectives in front of the 33rd Street Giant. Chaos in the city, and it just is out of control. Witnesses say the 19 year old was waiting on family inside, parked out front, when another man asked him to move. Moments later, that 19 year old was shot. Then ran inside the store. I know we live in a microwave society. I know that everybody just like me, 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 now, now, now. But you know that's not a reason to hurt anybody. That's not a reason to shoot anybody. When I pulled up, my eyes got big. I was wondering why the parking lot was so empty on the fourth. Usually everybody trying to get hot dog buns. You know what I mean? Police say they're still looking for the shooter. It's normal now. Normal, yeah. It's normal to hear people getting shot. It's normal to hear people getting killed. The victim, shot in the left forearm, was taken to the hospital with what are described as non life threatening injuries. I'm just blown right now, man. I'm blown. That's wow. Damn, that's too close for home, man. Back live now here in Waverly. This 33rd Street Giant was closed for about three hours today. They reopened just before 2 o'clock. We're live in Waverly. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.